Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at unrestricted file uploads. We'll explain what unrestricted file uploads are, their causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what are unrestricted file uploads? Some applications allow users to upload their own files. If there are no limitations on the uploaded file name, type or size, the unrestricted file upload could cause problems. What causes unrestricted file uploads? These vulnerabilities can occur when files uploaded to the application are not verified or if there are no checks to limit the file size and possibly dangerous extensions or content. Upload rate limitation could be missing as well. To understand unrestricted file upload vulnerabilities, let's look at some examples. In our first example, let's say a web application allows users to upload files and view them afterwards in a directory. A malicious user noticed this functionality and decides to upload a web shell. The attacker can browse to the file through the uploads directory and can pass commands to his web shell. All commands passed to the shell get executed on the server and are run with the same privileges as the web application. In our next example, a web application allows users to upload files and send them as an attachment to other users. A malicious user notices this functionality and decides to upload an HTML page containing a fake login. The attacker then sends the fake login page to a number of people in hopes of someone entering their login credentials. This is commonly called a phishing attack. When a user submits credentials through the fake login page, the information is sent to the attacker and the user is also logged in normally so they aren't even aware they have just given away their credentials to an attacker. Unrestricted file uploads can have significant impact by uploading a large amount of malicious files or even a zip bomb, an attacker could launch a denial of service attack. Users could be tricked into providing sensitive information to a phishing page uploaded by an attacker. Or an attacker could upload a web shell and gain remote access to the web server. To prevent unrestricted file uploads, developers should apply whitelist validation and filtering on file names and extensions remove special characters from file names and limit the length to a fixed amount of characters. Only allow particular extensions. Store uploaded files in a private directory without execution privileges. Enforce minimum and maximum file size limits. Scan uploaded files for malicious content. And finally, store files with randomly generated file names, keeping a table mapping to the original names if necessary. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Unrestricted File Uploads.